Guys, welcome back to Red Ants Review. What color is your brigade? <laughs> welcome. So we're gonna have a look at. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. The coffee breakup, and they're talking about women being in their masculine. So let me cue the video. Yeah, yeah I've had 100%. the opposite. I've had like me being a woman, like secure and all this shit, right? I still have my insecurities, right? I'm not perfect. Yeah. But more constant than not, I feel very strong in myself and who I am. Yeah. Naturally, some guys don't like that. Yeah. How many women relate to this woman? How many women say, I learned something tonight. So it's like remain feminine. Mm -hmm. How many women can relate to this woman and what she's saying? That women can be just so stuck in their energy. You feel you like know, they're intimidated by you? Very much so. Yeah, of course. Of course, because she can't be manipulated. She's not submissive. Or controlled. Or, or controlled. controlled. Yeah. yeah, try me. I mean, yeah. unless, <laughs> unless, she, unless she finds the the right man who Ooh. she can feel her feminine and be submissive on her terms. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Not on her terms. Not on her terms. Come on. You have a feminine or no, you're not. It's not on your terms. It's not this subjective femininity that people like to think that is possible you either are feminine or you're not it's not flip a switch instead of hey i'm the man no. you as a woman yeah. should be submissive yeah. Yeah. automatically I, yes. because you're a woman exactly and you're my woman exactly type shit. yeah, yeah. Like that. that's, yeah. A, that's a that's a no-go well i want to be a girl right i want to be cute and like you know yeah. when you say you love me we get shy you know things like that i want to be vulnerable yeah. right but whenever i'm in that fight or flight state right of like constantly like someone's gonna hurt me my masculine comes out mm -hmm. you know and my feminine is like nurturing my feminine is soft right so it's like i want to be safe with a man where he's the man i'll let you do be, be a man right but it's like i naturally submit to you yeah. right but it's still in my pa yep that's how it should be you should be naturally naturally submitting to your other half with no pressure from anyone willingly you're the best guy for me so I'm gonna let you do your thing so I can be my thing hour right but because i feel safe exactly like she's in control yeah. of being submissive like i want to feel comfortable getting into that submissive state with you yeah. instead of feel the need because you're the man I need to always be submissive to Yeah. Do you feel like, generally speaking, that is what women tend to prefer or that naturally want to fall into that state? Yeah, listen, any girl that tells you, like, oh, I want to work all the time, oh, you know, I, I want to take care of myself, I want to protect myself, you know, it's like, yo, that's like a survival tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, she no, hit no. the nail on the head. <laughs> Wow, it's a coping mechanism. Did she really say that? Well, ain't we a pair? Raggedy man. <laughs> like that you've developed because you feel unafraid in this world, right? So it's like every time I wake up, for example, I literally like hold myself and I'm like, I'm safe today. Ladies, do you do that? Do you wake up? every day and like hold yourself and say bring out your feminine energy do you do we do that <laughs> uh, i think this i think this one's a little bit hippie i'm saving my body right letting that feminine come in because for so long i was like ready to fucking fight wow how how, how you know what i'm i want to know how many women relate to this how many women rate relate to this that they're just ready to fight ready at all at any any situation given that is a man 
ready to fight. Boots up, ready. That's an American term. Uh, fists up. <laughs> like try me, say something to trigger my my fears, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt you first, and that. Wow. <laughs> Well, she's telling all the uncomfortable truths. I want to be a man, like the nice lady. That's <laughs> how I approach a lot of my relationships. I was already waiting for that shoot to drop, you know, and I feel like that was like my mask. Look at that, broken by the past trauma that she's having to basically relive it over and over again, each relationship she goes through because she hasn't healed that trauma. Wow. Really trying to protect me, right? Um, so back to your question, yeah. I feel like a lot of girls have been hurt so much by their father, by their brother, right? <laughs> Come on, that's a stretch. They've been hurt by their father and their brother. Come on, let's, let's, let's keep it in reality. Come on, let's keep it in reality. I learned something tonight. Listen. It's like remain feminine. Mm -hmm. You know what it means. Maybe that a relationship or an actual relationship. Or oh, yeah. relationship. Come on, that's that's the answer we're looking for. It's the relationships that these women are dragging themselves through, f fumbling their way through, because they don't understand men fully. They think, oh, I'm gonna get the guy that makes me tingle the most and figure it out on the spot. No, 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 no. You know, like it starts, it's like that male, that male figure wasn't safe. So they naturally have to be their own male mm. figure to protect themselves. So it's like, it, you know, it, it's a, it's a distortion, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, we are feminine, you know? I am. It is that's deep, and it's hard. I think once you're, when you once you have a guard up for a woman, I would imagine when you find somebody who you can be feminine, it's maybe hard at first, right? God, it's like it's like Fort Knox. It's like a prison within a prison within a prison with these women. You get through the 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 uh, the first stage of the prison, and you're confronted with another prison, then another prison, because these women are so broken and let your guard go and let down yeah. and let yourself be who you really want to be exactly you know, because who knows how for how many years you had to be somebody or, or or had to have that instinct the natural survival instinct when you really you just wanted to be you know a woman loved and a yeah, woman and loved, yeah let me do your laundry mm. you know <laughs> i got you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And hyper independence comes in this too. Do you, have you guys heard of what hyper independence no, is? First time. Have you heard of it? They're lying. Come on. You've heard of hyper independence. Come on. You even you obviously know what independence is and you know what hyper is on its own. Put them together. These guys, man. What are they doing? No. Elaborate, please. So a girl, I don't need no man. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Penny drops, the woman has to lay bare. Hyper independence. Uh -huh. yeah. so what about it? Okay, so that's like survival tactic too. Like it's like a mechanism that they've developed of like hyper, you know, we all want to be independent, right? We want to not. That's a different perspective on um, how you view things. Hyper independency is a, a coping mechanism. This woman is saying it. Fellow women, is this true that hyper independency is a coping mechanism so women can feel empowered and feel like they don't need a man, or if they're in a relationship and it goes wrong, they can fall back on their hyper independency? Be saved, right? It's like, I'm good, I can take care of myself, you'll be an addition to me. But when you're hyper independent, you got you like cut guys' balls because you're like. <sighs> Ooh, really? She's really, really dropping bombs. Most of these birds have still not learned that mammals are dangerous. You Most always got the truth from Tommy. Have still it was one of his major weaknesses. You don't let them, you know, take you out on a nice day just because they want to, like, you mm. know, uh, because they love you and they just want to do something nice. Hyper independent. The woman is like, I got it. 
you what, know? Yeah, or like you open the door for somebody. You said it. You open the door for somebody, and it's like, no, I, like I can open the door like, for myself. For myself. Exactly. I'll tell you straight. I'm at the point where chivalry is dead. I don't go out my way to be cold or horrible, but the days of if I see a woman and she's there at the door, I won't be the one trying to open up the door because I'm thinking chivalry's dead and women are not acting the way they should be acting. And as far as I'm concerned, you're just a woman and I ain't trying to fuck you. So me being chivalrous, fuck that. I know, bitch. I'm just I trying to be bitch. nice. <laughs> let me open the door. Let I know. know. Let her know. Let me, like, let me. I just out of kindness. I don't need anything in return. Exactly. You want to be kind. You naturally, as a man, want to be kind to the opposite sex. But you're getting this coldness, this ultra freakish coldness from women when you try to be chivalrous, and then they're looking at you. You have to say, "You absolute simp." That's that's the that's the way they're looking at you these days. So, opening up a door for a woman, no. Unless you're my woman, or my daughter, no, thank you. Yeah, he is a daughter. Because they're point. like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're ready to fucking fight. Yeah. You know, and it's it. I call that the hyper. It's 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 something that they develop to protect themselves, but. And I fell in that, so I'm yeah. not judging. I was that, you know, and and I get tired, you know. You get tired of being. That's exhausting, all the time. almost. Like, how do you feel like you can get out of? It? <sighs> Listen, I completely understand what she's saying there, because how can you be a woman and you're projecting this masculine projection that isn't yourself? So that is definitely got to be exhausting, being someone you're not every day. This masculine mask that you've got just oozing itself out of your body. I don't, I don't know how these, um, these women do it because as a man, it's hard to be a man out here in itself. There's so much things you've got to have in place as a man and that sometimes is exhausting. So trying to be the man and the woman and not yourself every day, that's just borderline insanity. But yeah, I'm ESI. I'm in ESI mode. Peace.